Hello, my name is Daniel Sikora, and I am a sound designer and composer for video games based in Toronto, Ontario. Now, in this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to take a Unity level, in this case Viking Village, and add the FMOD integration and create a workable sound demo. This project was a collaboration between myself and the team over at FMOD, so special thanks goes to Matt, Raymond, and Liam. So this is the completed audio scene, but just before I run it, I am going to point out a few key areas to listen for. So over here up in the mountains, there's going to be a wolf. So once you're inside this circle, you're going to be able to hear it howling off in the distance. Same thing over here, down by the docks as you're over here, you're going to be able to hear it chirping away its lovely song. And in this barracks looking building, we decided to add a battle going on on the inside. So basically you're going to be hearing a bunch of Vikings fighting. You're also going to be hearing some swords clanking away. Good old time. And in this pub, there's also going to be almost a party going on on the inside. You're going to be hearing some ambiences from the inside. And if you listen closely next to the door, there's also going to be somebody getting beaten up. So listen for that. Now, in addition to these four areas, there's also going to be some music trigger zones. Um, ambience triggers, and a footstep system. So also listen for those. And we're going to be discussing a lot more of these types of systems in the later videos. I'm going to break them down. I'm going to show you how to make them from scratch. So if you want to recreate this, you can. If you want to put forward the knowledge into something completely different, that's totally up to you. So without further ado, enjoy this audio demo.
So the first step would be in Unity to create a new project, give it a good name. And once that's done, head over to the asset store. You can do this from within Unity or over on your internet, whatever you have, and search for Viking Village if you intend to use this level for the audio demo. And make sure you get the Viking Village that is by Unity Essentials, Unity Technologies. Click on that, download it. Okay, once everything is unpacked, just make sure everything is selected, click on all and then import. So this is what you're gonna be able to work with. So step one is done, now on to step two. So right now head over to fmod.org, head over to their download page, grab fmod studio for whatever platform if you don't have it installed yet. Once that's done, you're going to need to get the FMOD Studio integration package for Unity and make sure it's the correct version, that it matches your FMOD Studio version. And to download the integration package, you are going to need to log into your FMOD account or you're going to have to register for one. That is a free process, so just do that. And then once you're done, head back to Unity and go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, go navigate to wherever you downloaded your package to. So in my case, it's over here, open. And import all. And you can see the integration package has just added some extra files into Unity. And it's also created an FMOD dropdown menu with some additional options, as you can see. And just so you know how to create an empty FMOD project to be used with the Unity level, just start by opening up FMOD. And boom, it automatically creates an empty project. So just go ahead and save this, give it a name, and that's it. And just looking really quickly, here's how FMOD saves the project. When you create a file name, it creates your folder. It's got all your metadata, all your info. It's gonna have all your audio files. And this is the important thing. This is what you're gonna link up with your Unity project. So back to that. And the final point over here, FMOD Studio project path not set, this little error over here. Just go over to FMOD, edit settings. This is what's causing the problem. There is no FMOD project connected to this Unity project. So the really simple thing to do is click on browse. Now you just have to find where you saved your FMOD project. If you haven't made one, go do that and then come back to this step. Once you have, navigate to it, select it, open, and you are good to go. Your FMOD project is connected to this Unity project and you can do whatever you like. That concludes this video. By now you should be able to add the FMOD integration package into Unity and have it successfully work. Stick around in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create simple events in FMOD, as well as add looping to them, and create a master bank. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.